The MPI is just a really great place because it has these amazing resources. I wanted to find a place that does cutting edge research, but also fosters an international scientific community. But the MPI is a place where ideas turn into reality and you're surrounded by excellent people every day. I started um, at the MPI as a master's student, uh, where I wrote my thesis on understanding how the brain processes a music structure. And uh, I've taken this further in my PhD, and now I look at how expectations in music structure influence how much we enjoy certain chord progressions and its, uh, and its underlying brain mechanism. I get uh, all the help and the assistance I need to, uh, to carry out my research projects and I'm also uh, very, well, very actively encouraged to present my work at international conferences. So this is a very good way for, um, for me to present my work as well as for me to get to know other people and also to uh, learn of the latest advances in the field. The MPI has given me a, a very good preparation in terms of the knowledge, in terms of the resources, uh, so that I can pretty much tackle anything that I want to do in the future. I'm really interested in the question of how we can know so much about the world based on the fairly limited amount of information that we actually get. So for example, I have never been in this situation before, and nevertheless I know more or less how to behave. And the reason why I know more or less how to behave is because this situation is similar to other situations I've experienced previously. And so our brain is clever in the sense that it organizes experiences in ways that allows it to compute the similarity between situations. Because we're interested in how the brain codes this kind of information, we need to somehow look into the brain and look at what the brain does as we perform these kinds of cognitive tasks. And we typically do that using brain scanners. We have really high resolution uh, brain imaging scanners like seven Tesla scanners that are used by people who have a particular interest in the certain anatomy of the brain and the connections between brain regions. And so in, in that sense, the MPI is really spectacular. Everybody who wants to do cutting edge research using ultra high field MRI is welcome here because with the new generation of the uh, seven Tesla Terra system and we will be able to provide a, a, an, an environment to groundbreaking research. In our lab we study the interplay between sex hormones, the brain, cognitive health and emotional well-being. And for example we know that women are roughly twice as likely to experience um, a depressive disorder and we we believe that sex hormones are involved, sex hormones like estradiol, but the potential underlying mechanisms we don't know yet. And I knew I wanted to study that, and it's why I applied to this institute. There is the thing called uh, the Max Planck PhD Net, um, and it's a network of all PhD candidates within the Max Planck Society, and it was founded both to promote scientific exchange, but also to provide support for the doctoral researchers in the participating institutes. As representatives, um, researchers could approach us about any topic that they'd like to speak about, whether that be about improving conditions in the institute or supervision questions, or actually just getting connected to other representatives at the other institutes. I mostly co-supervise PhD students at the moment, which means that we uh, design uh, projects together. The interaction with the PhD students really is bi-directional, so uh, it's often the case that they will come up with great ideas in terms of you know, new analyses that could be done on the data, or also new experiments that should be done to answer the next question. And so I think there's hopefully inspiration and, and, uh, and teaching in both directions. I've been here for two years. I moved from Boston um, and I really, really like the city. I think it's very young and fun. There's lots of cultural activities going on, lots of music, uh, art is big here. Doing music research in the same city where Johann Sebastian Bach was 300 years ago is something quite special for me. It's also close to Berlin, close to Prague and quite centrally located in Europe. So uh, I'm very happy here. It's a great place.